Hi, I'm Dwayne Ballard, Dwayne Ballard Custom Leather, and uh, Sheriff's here today to see what I'm working on. So we are in Lake Elsinore. Where is that? I'm dead center between San Diego and LA off the 15. Feels like real countryside. Yeah, small. There's only 50,000 people. You know, LA is an hour away, San Diego is an hour away. So you, you're the man for leather. I give you that, Dwayne. So please. <laughs> How, do, how does it look when you receive a thing from a customer when from day one, so to speak? Day one is usually just a bear pan, yeah. something like that. You know, that one's just powder coated. Yep. And then when I start on it, this one's a little fancier. It was painted by Hot Dog. Wow. For a West Coast bike. And on this one, you know, get the leather, dye it so it'll match this and rivet it all to the pan. And yep. then I shape the foam how the customer wants it and then it goes to you know drawings back and forth with the customer until they approve the line drawing so you you do all this work uh, yes but sometimes you get the uh, drawings from the customer too or? yeah a lot of times like if it's a logo I'll want the shop to send it to me because a logo has got to yeah. be exactly perfect yeah sometimes the customer like this customer here had his son draw something for his seat, so I'm gonna base it off that, but I'm gonna oh, okay. clean it up. But you know, he wanted his son to be a part of his build. Wow. But uh, then, uh, is the customer always right, or you as uh, to actually make the seat? You uh, must have some argument sometimes. Oh yeah, they're I don't they're not always right. Sometimes I just kind of do my thing. I've never had anybody complain. No. So. So what is this? This is a seat. It's for a new Indian scout that hot bike is doing with Indian motorcycles and they sent it to me it was just this aluminum base yeah but they wanted it the seat inset so I made another pan that fit oh, inside wow. of it and then carved this and then that's the air cleaner cover that they sent and I'm just putting scout on it right now yeah. and getting it dyed so I can get it shipped out and um, all these tools is it Tools, you, you need all of them for one seat or it's just... No, it's just, you. I probably use five or six tools on a seat. It's just if I need it, I have it. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a mechanic that just addicted to tools. If I see some old tools, I yeah. buy them. Also, you're like uh, watching on eBay if some old guy is selling stuff or oh, uh, yeah. you, you run over it or... eBay, Craigslist, I found tools at the Long Beach Swap Meet, you know, mixed yeah. in with mechanics tools, all kinds of places. And here, what uh, is it like different colors? Yeah, or? different dyes, different, you know, coatings to do the edges of wallets. Yeah. Uh, more stamps, you know, like this is for cutting belts. You know, it's a hundred and something year old tool. Yeah. So, uh, but a seat like this, roughly how many hours from day one? From day, it's probably got 20, 25 in it yeah. from making the pan to carving it. Yeah. That one, I mean, it's not very big. It wasn't that big of a deal. The artwork was pretty simple, just the Indian logo, so I didn't really have to draw anything. No. And customers, you say, they you don't need to advertise. No, most of my work's from word of mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's or, the best. Like I was saying, you know, a lot of work ends up in magazines, so that helps. It's like advertising. Like this here, you know, it's for hot bike, yeah. so, you know, they'll run it in a magazine, and then Indian will tote it around. Mr. Holt. Okay, Dwayne, I'm impressed. Good luck in the future. I had to go back to Sweden now. Thank Ciao. you. <laughs>